Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, overnight, the Australian dollar slid towards that 60-day moving average around 77.20 and rebounded, but not enough to get it out of the trenches in terms of bearish trenches. It looks to me, from a technical point, while the MACD, which we need to keep an eye on, and also the RSI, there is further sl potential down downward slide, that is. And if we get a break of 77.15, then we've taken out the 60-day moving average and the support and expect to see a further slide towards 75.18.90. The US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, has rallied up to a high of 91.88 this morning. This has put a bit of a uh, further bias to the downside for euro, which is weighted at 57.6. As we can see that the RSI is below the midway point and also the MACD is negative and therefore should increase the downside pressure. Still look towards this target around 118.4555. A little bit higher in dollar yen but still the divergence is clearly in play in terms of the RSI declining as the price rises. It is anticipated that from this pattern there should be a downward turn close towards that high 104. 950 and if so with the ADX overheating should see a potential downturn towards that 108 region and reassess from there. Looking at the pound the market looks for the grand challenge now 138 15 20 area although it was challenged previously back here earlier in the month but the weakness is still playing and therefore with the RSI and the MACD negative could see a plummet towards 135.60. This would actually expect to see sterling yen weaken further after two dojis in place the RSI has dropped quite rapidly and now look potentially with the MACD also cutting down could see a move towards this support line around 147. Gold is nudging higher since the hammer posted on Friday and from there we get a clearance of 1741.44 looks up towards 60.65 and reassess as we may get a rejection. Wrapping up with oil the market is weaker and therefore looking towards this 63.15 level and if we get a break there then I anticipate that we're going to further drop towards $58 a barrel with the RSI and also the MACD teaming up to a potential bearish bias. Keeps the overall focus on the downside. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interesting report. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day.